So that's the history of, uh, of the REO market. Now, I get asked this a lot, so I'm gonna throw the question to you because you know the numbers way better than most human beings. Um, everyone's wondering when's the, the drop gonna come again kind of thing, because it seems like we're already in that 10 year cycle, but I don't see anything slowing down to you. So first, let me speak to the cycle. Sure. I don't believe in it. Okay. There's no evidence of it. Um, it's people have promulgated this cycle mm. based on the fact that it happened to happen twice in a row. Some argue that it's been three times in a row. But the real estate, I mean, if we go all the way back to World War II, the end, it, that cycle doesn't really exist. And recently we had a symposium, at the, I'm part of the Appraisal Institute, and we had a, a, a basically a symposium up in Ontario, and we had some big PhD ec economists, and, and uh, Mr. Norris was there from the Norris Group, and, and they they actually verified <laughs> what I what what I have been teaching that that there is no cycle. Wow, um, it's based mostly on supply and demand. We had a crash in the market because of a supply and demand problem. Too much supply. We had way too much supply, and it mm -hmm. caused the, 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 the downfall. Now, there's reasons why we had so much supply, and we can go into why the market crashed, what, you know, what, what led to that. But it's not because there was a cycle, and it all of a sudden had to drop. It was because pe certain people did certain things. Right. And certain stop gaps were not in place or enforced. So it's not that the market had this cycle. It's that literally there were some people in power that let that happen. Mm. So um, I don't have any evidence or see any evidence of a decline coming in the market. Right now, the buyers showed up late this year. Usually the market flips back up in February. It didn't. But in June it did. And I, I see like today in the report I handed in today, I made increasing adjustments, about 3% an annual increase. Wow. It's normal for a market to ebb and flow up to 2% a year, depending on what we call the seasonal doldrums. Like, you know, around Christmas time, there's not as many buyers, but yet you know, usually in springtime, there's a lot more. And so you have the supply and demand little cycle that goes on so we call them seasonal doldrums in the winter time um so it's normal for the market to move two percent but it's it's definitely gone up about three percent in the in the last year um in various sub markets i'm starting to see a big push at the bottom of the market mm -hmm. um so uh, interest rates have gone down in the last year i think this has really helped a lot I think they're going to continue to go down. I don't know that that's all, all. I don't know that that's great that the interest rates. I mean, there's a reason why we why interest rates are high and low. There's a reason for it. But certainly, when they lower it, there's more real estate movement. Right. And every president wants that. Um, and especially going into an election year next year, real estate cyclically doesn't do as great during a, an election year. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if they are trying to not have that happen by lowering interest rates? I, I don't know. Interesting.